Hey yo, Monkey Puzzle here, and I want to show you how I've been spending the last few days <laughs> when I come on to the YMC Arc Valhalla modded server. I'm still hanging out at Dead Island, which we have named New Australia, <laughs> and I've been trying to rid it of scorpions and rid it oops, of metal nodes as well, <laughs> and I haven't succeeded in either. The Every time I come back, there are more scorpions and more metal nodes. And so I just have to keep killing them all. <laughs> so yeah, I have been trying to stock up on resources. Did I accidentally dismember that other one with my bird? I must have. And I know I'm using an axe on a metal node, but I actually need more stone than metal right now. So we're going to go ahead and do this. So... Yes, this is Modded Valhalla number eight. And last time we were over here, we tamed a 120 dragon, a beautiful green dragon that is now the property of John Versus. And he has been nice enough to offer that up to us to use, but somehow I haven't felt right with that yet. They're just so powerful. So I've got this bird right here. Oh, who has a level up? This is Primo, because he's my best Argentavis right now. And that means I have more than one. I have two. If you saw the taming of the dragon last time, let's give it some movement speed this time. You can see the stats are getting pretty good. And let's throw away this junk just for weight's sake. And I got a lot of shoes already, too. Um, you saw me finishing taming a level 90-something Argentavis way down there in the pit of New Australia and I left that for a moment to go watch the dragon wake up from its tame but in the meantime I also found a level I didn't find well we found it <laughs> let me try to speak more clearly again we found it be prior to the dragon tame it was a level 116 Argentavis but we actually woke it up because the tame got messed up and the Ooh, taming effectiveness was not going to be as good as it should be. So I found it again and tamed it. I did mess up a little bit. Somehow it ate all the prime I put on it before I got back with more. So it ate a little meat. So it was down to like a level 82% or 82%, not level 82 when it tamed. But it's still doing pretty good. It's up at 192 right now. And it's been much better than trying to do all this on my pteranodon so let me grab just a few last pieces of crystal and we'll head back to the raft i want to do some improvements today on the raft and then i want to start showing you some more of valhalla too i decided that valhalla is probably way too huge for someone who's never explored it like myself to try to show you in one episode so instead I'm going to show it to you in pieces, a little bit uh, each episode. So this is the little fortress we made, <laughs> fortress in quotes, to tame the dragon. I'm not going to take you around this whole dead island because as far as I could tell, this is pretty much the gist of it. I didn't find any secret caves or whatever. If there are, let me know. If I pass something up. Please tell me, like, I don't want spoilers for things I haven't seen, per se, but I do would love spoilers for things I missed, if I missed anything. But one thing that's fun about this island, well, there's a number of things besides the amount of metal and crystal and high-level carnivores it has, is that it's really easy to clear these levels, because it's got all these ledges, but you just get, get these guys angry, and then you just send them off the cliff. And now you have this whole level to yourself. So that can be really helpful when you're trying to harvest stuff up here. But I spend a lot of my time up here running away from the carnivores when I'm trying to harvest that scorpion I just killed or that metal node or whatever. So there's a little tip <laughs> on how to clear off the levels. In the meantime, let me head back to my raft, which is over here. So just off the tip of this little promontory here, between those two rocks and heading out into the channel towards, I guess, what you could call the mainland over there, I've got my raft parked. So a couple episodes, you saw the beginning of this, 
what I did not show and I meant to talk about was how I made it this big. So this week I'm going to do a little special on how to do a raft with a base this big. I'll probably do it in vanilla though, just to show that it's possible. It won't have the rounded stairs on the outsides like this to kind of round out the corners, but it will show the basics of how I did this. So that will come. Over there is John Versus's floating castle. Way too cool for words. And on top of it, you can see that that dragon is now his hood ornament. <laughs> it's awesome. There was a, one day I came back and I'll maybe put a little piece of video in it right here where I found it just running like it was on a treadmill on top of the castle. It was pretty funny. Anyway, let's unload the bird into this. This wasn't a totally full load, but not bad. And this here, the bulk forge, has been awesome. Barely uses any wood to smelt all the metal very quickly. I haven't really been paying attention to how fast it does it. So it's only five at a time. So it is somewhere between the industrial forge and the regular forge, but doesn't use much wood. You can see there's hardly any charcoal built up in there and it goes through it pretty quick. So it's pretty great. Been making good use of that. And then let's see in here. Oh, not in there. That's the bulk smithy in here in the bulk grinder. I'm all set up to make some more cementing paste. So there's two recipes in here. There's the regular engram for a cementing paste. And then there's the five times engram. So you can see I can make 46 of those. That's 46 times five. And it's just really fast. You don't have to wait forever for this stuff to get made. It's already hard enough as it is. I've also been using it for my narcotics and for my spark powder. When it's not in a multiple of five, oops. when it's not in a multiple of five, you can see that it has a little bit left over there. So I can go ahead and craft that. And let me skip to when this is done and we'll go on to the next part. Okay, that's done. We got another load of cementing paste there. So that's cool. It looks like if I got some more stone, I could still make some more. So I've been hanging out here off of Dead Island. Just trying to build up some resources because I know there's metal and crystal here and now you can see I've got pretty good quantities of each of these in order to keep doing the glass metal parts for this raft and so the glass metal is one of the mods and it allows you to build glass pieces that are not uh, wimpy they are as strong as metal. So I have a plan of wanting to make a multiple leveled raft here. It's going to involve some ramps. I'll start with two for now, and then we'll make some more. And then I need, let me see, I want a couple more of these door frames. Go ahead and grab those. And then I'm going to need a whole lot of glass walls. Now there's three of them here. You can see the main difference between them is they have different widths of metal on the side. And there are even more that I could have learned apparently that have various patterns and stuff like that. I might want to check some of those out real quick. But I know I want a bunch of, let me see, is it this one? I think I want to keep the metal minimal and the glass as, as the main part of the wall. And even though I may need 64 in the end, Let's just make about that many. And let's look at the engrams real quick and see if there's any of the fancy ones I might want to make that could add to the look of the thing. So of the ones I've learned, oh, let's do glass metal and see those. There's also this one, which just has a lot of metal. That's cool. But um, of these, they all cut out visibility. And visibility is what I wanted out of this. So maybe we need a jaunty angle. That one is okay. Let's learn that one. And that one is okay. Let's learn that one. But I'm going to have a problem <laughs> with engrams before the end here. I'm level 72, I think, last I looked. And I've got 222 engram points 
left to apply and I've got just tons of engrams left to learn because of all the mods. I did find from a drop, I did find a mind wipe tonic. So I do have an out if I get to the end, but I'll probably still need to learn most of these building parts again, which wouldn't really solve my problem because building is one of the main things I want to do with this modded arc experience. So you can see this is already done. Got a little bit more metal to add here. So let me finish making these parts and let's get to building because I want to do a little bit more exploring with you guys too today. So let me see. Oh, and there's these one-way ones as well, which I think you can only see through one way is my guess. I don't know much about them, but I want two ways see-throughing <laughs> on this, so we'll keep it that way. Let's make a couple of those just to get a little aerodynamics going or <laughs> just a little look. And then also I just realized I need two more doorways. I know these doors have a high visibility, a lot of glass square footage on them. Let's make those as well because I have these other ones and we'll check out what they look like. Okay. So let's start putting some of this together real quick. I think everything's done crafting there. So of the doorways, start there, I guess. I have one here, but I've kind of blocked it with this trough that feeds all my critters. Oh, and speaking of critters, ooh, okay. Yeah, oh, those have the angles right there. I forgot, you know, they're right there. How could I? Uh, I also have, I think I showed you Meathead already, but I have Gatone. A saber that I picked up there, he was like level 100 and something, so I had to bring him along. Oh, and there is Krusty. We tamed Krusty during the dragon tame too. I had a little help, and he likes to live out here on top of the storage boxes. But he was 116 when he started. So let's put this here. And some of these places I did not need the foundations, the fence foundations, but I put them... Just for consistency, but also trying to keep things at the same level. Even though it's not totally working, this one is still lower than that one. But I didn't stack up, really, to try to make it reach. And then I also wanted to put a door here so that I could reach these fire pits when I need to. Now, is it going to let me put... I don't think I need my axe at the moment. Put it right there. It is. That's cool. Right on. And then... Let's try these doors. I don't know what these ones look like yet. And then these were the other ones. Let's go ahead and try the one I don't know much about. And it's obstructed. It doesn't want to be there. Let's try this one. Nope. It won't let me make a door either way. So I probably have to demolish the fire pit to put that there. But I'll do that later. So I like these better. I don't think I'm going to use the other ones because uh, they have too much metal. Ah, oh, okay, sure. Okay, now I have plenty of ways out the back. And I come down here and I use these stairs to refill my water skins. Stairs are really great too because I can just bring any swimming dino or myself up to here and climb right aboard. So now with these walls, I can just go ahead and start placing these and these are also going to lessen my worries of my dinos running off here if they get in a fight right now we're not fully enclosed and if an argentavis came down or something like that i could find some of my dinos in the water uh, when i log back on so we don't want that and cool my fears of these blocking the walls uh were had no basis in fact <laughs> So I'm going to go up one more level now, and then we're going to need to make some ceilings and put the ramps into play. There's going to be a little overlap here. That's just how these angles worked out. So there's just no way around that. Live with it and not talk about it again. <laughs> Pretend it never happened. Now here's a choice I could make with these aesthetically. I can put that up there and I can have more visibility which is probably probably what I want. Or I could put on the walls that actually have the same thickness as that one does. And they would f just match better. See, there's that one. And that one. And that one. 
guess this is the only one I have just like that. Let's craft a couple of those just to see what they look like. I think I'm out of doors, so I'll put it there. And then that was number seven. Yeah, so that fits. Let's just go ahead and do that since we're going to put a ceiling on top of here anyway. And then we'll finish up this side with these and go up one higher as well. Cool, cool, cool. Let me see. That goes there. And then I'm going to need one, two, three more of those thick ones just to complete that theme that we started there. So that was these. Make one, two. You can already see my numbers going down here pretty quick. So this was definitely a pretty expensive way uh, for starter game, <laughs> which we're in here. That's all right. It just will foretell how things are going to go. Oh, I didn't try, actually, if I could place... Oh, will let me place a door there. But I'm going to go ahead and make those other kind of doors anyway. I just have to destroy one fire pit. It's going to be a little tricky, too, putting ceilings on top of there, because they're not really going to match up with those angles. There's just going to have to be some overhang. So in the structures, the glass metal ceiling number two, number three, and number one, I guess. So it looks like this one is all glass, and then this one has some metal structure around it. Not sure what the difference is. This one looks like it might be a little bit thicker. Let's make one of each. And I'm pretty sure these are the ones I'm going to go for. My overall theme of visibility. But let's check them out anyway. Just so we know. All right. <laughs> That's what my dinos have to say about it. So let me see. This is four. The one that's in my four slot. Six. Oh, it's got those little reinforcements on the glass. All right. I don't think I'll be using too many of those. I wonder if they're a lot stronger. Hmm. And then that's... Oh, that's the one that looks totally clear. But it actually has those bars going across it. And... Huh. So I actually think that this is the one I like best. I believe. That one... Well, I guess it would give you continuity across the top. And this one would be more of a grid. Oh gosh, choices, choices. Maybe I'll do this with this one. And then use this one later. Oh god, I'm going to have to take a break here while I decide. <laughs> Alright, I decided to go with the stripy one. And as soon as these 16 are made, <laughs> I'll show you why. And then I think I'm going to need some more cementing paste. But in the meantime, at least, it's helping me level up, which is very cool. I wonder what I should put it into. Let's get up to 400 weight. What do you say? Okay, we need a frog so we can get more cementing paste. I'm tired of killing scorpions, but let me see. The reason I did these is I realized I have a choice here. I can either go with the orthogonal, with the square here, or I can go with this angle. And that will keep the ceiling going on with the angular look I'm trying to create here. Make it look like, you know, can actually cleave through the air. But it may cause problems, but I decided that the striped ones have the best chance of sort of looking reasonable when they blend together at the top. And this is probably a mistake. <laughs> it's probably just going to make things look weird in the end. But I'm going to try it anyway. How bad could it mess it up? <laughs> we shall see, we shall see. That would go off the end there. 
And I'm not going to have enough of these, but let's bring this out. One more. And... Actually, I should have brought that out one less. You know what? I can do that over here because I want to leave space for the ramp. So let me try to do it over here. So if I did this, that goes there, there, and then... Excuse me, just pause for a little coughing fit. How is that coming together right there? That's not too bad. Somewhere in here, we need a ramp because this is how the dinos are going to get up to the other levels. So if we started it there, that makes sense? Kind of, except it blocks my ability to get back there. I'm going to have to do it on one side or the other. Rusty's in the way. So if it was over here... I actually think that's better. As long as I can get in here, and actually I probably won't be able to. Oh, I can! And then this would have to go. That. Oh, and this one has to go. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I am wasting pieces. All right. Let me take a break. I'm going to try that again. All right. I think I'm going to start it here. And now I'm just making sure that I'm right at the end of that ceiling. Hopefully that's right. Yeah, so that's better. And I can go around this way. I might need to make it double wide. I'm wasting a lot of materials here. But that's okay. This is the, one of the ones that you can't actually pick up. Now we can get up here, so that is cool. And then with the rest of these I have left, I have five. Take that there, and then this one would come off the back as well. And then, and these don't quite line up. That's going to drive me nuts. I was wondering if I did this. Go ahead and do it if those X's would kind of work. And I think that kind of does. I think we can get away with that. And then maybe, oh, if these just lined up right, that would be better. I think we're going to have to use two of these again to have that make sense. But I am out of materials for the moment until I can get some more cementing paste. Oh, and this is too far from the platform. It's not going to let me build out this far anyway. So that's as far as we can go. Let's go ahead and take this out one level. So we sort of have two levels here. I'm going to go out one more, I think, and then put a railing. You can hang out out here. Pretty sure. We'll see. doesn't matter until I have more stuff. But that's just a little bit more progress on the boat. I think I'm cool with that. I don't know. You all tell me what you think. It is definitely a work in progress, but basically I'm trying to create an upper landing up there that goes out this far, as far as these gateways, and then it's going to ramp up to another level up above, and it's kind of the sky is the limit, really, how far we go, but I'm thinking that it'll sort of have a tower back here eventually, and keep the front kind of low, like there'll be a ceiling at the level of those gates, which will be kind of like a front door deck above above deck this will be below deck and then we'll have one more little back house back here i forget what you call it on a boat when you have the little house in the back anyway that's kind of the idea we'll see what's going what's happening a lot of work for a few building pieces but i'll keep it going but in the meantime Let's do some more exploring. Let me dump this stuff off of me, make sure I have some food, and I'll meet you as we take off. Alrighty, well it's a new day, and the rain just stopped, so let's go fly around for just a few minutes. And then I'll record another episode. <laughs>
So we've spent plenty of time over there on Dead Island. Now let's go check out what this corner of the mainland has to offer. I want to look on the map real quick. You can see now the marker on this I find is a little offset. A little down and a little, maybe a little to the right. But it's definitely a little down from where you actually are. But we're going to where it says me there. And that's part of the main piece of land that makes Valhalla. I've flown over here once or twice, but I'm still learning things. So over there on top, we have a little bit of of snow, of snowy mountain top, and there are some crystals and some snowy beasts up there. Up here, this part is pretty cool. We've got a really high ledge or peak point that can't really get up to anyway except along this ridge right here so I could see how in PvP this would be very defensible even in PvE at least you have a way to get your land dinos up there but it's quite a bit if you cleared the trees off of the top of this you'd have quite a view of the land around so this is a very good potential base spot it's just it's got that elevation which I've always been really fond of. If you put a tower up here, <laughs> it would be kind of silly, actually, because it's already towering. Uh, but that's a good spot. So remember, as we go around here, that I am looking for a place to build. Oh, and you can see the floating island up over there. I have no idea yet where I'm going to make... Well, I don't necessarily have to have just one base on the island, but at least the first place where I'm going to start building... Here's a nice flat spot right here. You can definitely tell on this map where there's been some places sort of carved off. Just inviting you with their flatness. Because <laughs> if you've built an arc, you know how fussy the foundations can be regarding, you know, being building on a flat space. You can't go out very far with foundations unless it is. So this cave is calling me. Let's see what's in here. I'm not sure if this is an actual, like, official cave, or it's just a little bit of rain. Looks like we have a waterfall up here. Ooh, okay, and then you come, can come back out. Oh, and this is where Saber Heartseeker is starting her base. Hopefully I'm not spoiling much. She's just getting going, so you can see it's got some thatch beginnings there. She's got those waterfalls below her and all these neat waterworks up here. And then this waterfall is also very cool. Lots of grand waterfalls in this. We're going to be going in and out of loading terrain. So there's going to be a little frame rate drop here and there. And we got some really glassy looking water here. Nice and blue. Very beautiful. Obviously, they've been working on the water textures in this map as well. And in some places it has really worked, some places it hasn't. <laughs> for the most part, I give them an A for effort. And over here, also I don't think much I can spoil, Timmy Carbine has started his base. And he, he is there, his body is in the middle of all his dinos protecting him got a rhino so far that's very cool and as you can see here demonstrated Timmy is famous for his elaborate structures <laughs> I couldn't resist poking at Timmy but he is he makes some amazing things oh and this actually I noticed earlier fly into here check it out you got this whole place here where you could make a base inside the waterfall and then oop, down below here, more of the same, and we get to fly through the waterfall a second time. Now that river there is an example where I think the textures need work. But we won't focus on that. We met that river over there. Right over there is where that big plane is. Just 
on the other side of that ridge from the thatch hut that I shared with Alexis in the very beginning, it's right there where the tip of my pteranodon head is pointing. That's where we started out, and we had a lot of misadventures in this big plain over here. And then we'll just go over the peak here, back to the raft. And so that will just be a little initial exploration of this part of the island for now. And each episode, I'll try to do a little bit of this and learning. So if there's anything in this area that's really significant that I didn't notice, please tell me. You know, like I said, as I do areas and I miss something, I don't mind you telling me. But don't tell me what I haven't seen yet as far as the new areas yet. Because I've made a point of not watching even some of my server mates' videos on the map itself because I wanted to be able to actually explore it Looks like we have another nice peak at the end of this ridge over here oh wait duh <laughs> that's the same one <laughs> lost my bearings a little bit but then back down here is the channel where the raft is parked so I'm gonna go ahead and move the raft for the beginning of next episode and we shall start from there but in the meantime, I am still Monkey Puzzle, your host. Thank you for watching until the very end of this episode. If you have suggestions, please let me know. And oh, looks like we should check out what this is real quick. Is this a cave or is just is this just a little flat spot? It looks like this is a very defensible flat spot maybe, except things could come down from the top. <laughs> anyway, like I said, I'm Monkey Puzzle. Thank you for watching. Please give me your ideas and your comments. And if you have ways you think uh, to improve these this series, please let me know. Hello. Shenron. That's right, from Dragon Ball Z. All right, y'all. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.